we say mana, which is like energy and heart and, and, and being able to have that charisma and stuff to keep push, pushing forward. And so in Hawaiian, that's the word for that. Athletics as a whole embodies our culture. The Polynesian culture is, is, is a culture of passion, um, a culture of hard work. And so a lot of our people and a lot of the kids there have, have so much heart when it comes to these type of games because um, they're kids who naturally work hard, who, who naturally have a desire to do well. Talapapa, runs over a tackle. Being on the field with a lot of my friends just kind of gave me an excitement um, on the field whenever I was playing. I think football not only became a passion because I was out there with people that I loved, but within me over time it just became something that allowed me to be free. It's a physical position. It's a position that asks a lot of, of the player. Football is a game that tests your courage, it, it tests your bravery, and it tests like how well you do under pressure. And so, Situations like that within the football field allow me to kind of excel. When I went on mission, I was 18 years old, um, very young, uh, very young-minded. Um, and I think a mission really brought it out of me to, to step up as a man, not only for myself, but the people of Nicaragua. I served in different parts of Nicaragua, like Managua, uh, Puerto Cabeza. There was a lot of door-to-door -door teaching, um, a lot of times where we would also participate in service projects with people who did not have a lot of help. It was cool listening to him talk about it, kind of what he was going through and how we dealt with it and how we grew through that. I really kind of inspired, it's inspired me kind of to hear him talk about that. Coach Atawai, I've been in contact with him since uh, they recruited me at BYU. Then they moved to, over to Virginia. There was no question that, you know, they were willing to take a chance on me. And so the fact that they allowed me to do so um, freely and to be able to come back and, and take part in this team um, was a really big thing. Coming back, college football is a lot different than, than high school football. It's a lot faster, it's a lot more physical. And it was up to me, really, and um, you know, some of the coaching staff to get me going after two years loss of, of physical work and, and loss of, of football. Uh, fundamentals um, really had to get going with, with working hard and, and pushing my body to the limit so that it could be at the same place if not you know even better than it was before. I'll say he's a very kind of downhill runner guy like I'll say he's gonna try to run you over before he tries to make a cut or juke you. You kind of have to buckle up when you get ready to hit him. Kind of tighten your chin strap, tie your shoes a little bit tighter if you even saw it. When you run physically uh, um, people are affected by that. Uh, not only does it get you going, but also the rest of the team when they see that you, you know, you can run hard, you run angry. The rest of the team wants to do the same, and so um, it sends motivation. I, I try my best to be efficient in every run that I do have. At times, I will tote to hit somebody, and at times, I will, you know, make a move or something. And that depends on the play. But trying to be more versatile in running is, is what I try to stand for. Football is a game of fun. And so for me, that kind of what became the passion about it is is being in those in those hard-fought situations. And then you have, you got a school like the University of Virginia, where athletics are not only important but the academics go a long way. And so I felt that I had everything I needed. Um, I felt that everything here would allow me to excel not only on the football field but also academically um, and in my life.